Success at last. Well, I'm very pleased to report that the operation was finally a success and all the electrics are working and I'll show you them in just a minute. But I left you with a cliffhanger where I turned the ignition switch and I can tell you that nothing happened. So the switches were clearly not fixed. I took them apart, as you remember, and um, it didn't fix them. And so I took the switches apart, took them down to my friend Jeff's, and along the way, Doug kindly gave me a couple of his old Lucas switches so that we had a backup if we needed it. Well, we took them completely apart and we found that in this switch specifically, the plate that holds the wires and the contact points, it must have been from a later version or a different model because with the springs in the buttons, when I pressed on the buttons, they were bottoming out and not making contact. So that was part of it. So Jeff kindly took all the wires off and then we took a plate from one of Doug's old units and we put it into this switch unit. And then Jeff resoldered all the wires perfectly. And then we also took a couple of the screws from Doug's switches and used those as well because the other problem was that because these switches have been chrome plated, they weren't going all the way to the end of the switch houses. So the plate was sort of rocking and that was another problem. So with both switches rewired and reassembled, I fitted everything back onto the bike, refitted all the wires, everything seemed great. And uh, I tried the lights again and they still didn't work. So looking in the headlight bucket, um, checked all the wires again thoroughly and realized that it was a ground problem. So what was happening is the light would not come on at all and the main beam, the flasher unit, wouldn't work either. In fact, what was happening is because it was a ground problem, this right-hand turn signal, that would light up and then if I, if I pressed the flash, it would glow. So the current was passing through to this bulb instead of through the headlight bulb because of a bad ground. And so I fixed that and everything's now working just great. The other thing then, as I moved on to the turn signals and the rest of the electrics, I found that this turn signal, this indicator, was not working at all. In fact, the wires on the rear of the bike were reversed. This would flash and the other side would flash on the rear but then this one wouldn't work at all. And then that one just remained solid. It was weird. Anyway, long story short, I fitted a ground cable in this turn signal, put a little wire in there, ran it through the stem into the headlight bucket, and then fastened it to the ground wire, the red wire that goes to the headlight bucket. And now everything seems to be working just fine, touch wood. So I thought I'd just run through the electrics again to give you a sense of how everything's working. We turn the ignition on, one, two. The oil pressure light comes on here. These little instrument lights were in the wrong place as well. So that's now on the left hand side. No lights until we turn this switch here. So now that works. And then the main flash is here. And we can see that works. So that turns off the horn at the top. That works just fine. And then moving on to the other side, we have left turn signal or indicator and right turn signal indicator. One job I haven't done yet is to fit the instrument lights and the bulb holders under here and on the other side um, the wires go into the headlight bucket. I bought the wires but I'll, I'll do that another time. That's the latest progress report guys. I hope you're enjoying this project as much as I am. Uh, the electrics were way trickier than I expected but we got there in the end and I'm really happy with how it all worked out. I learned an awful lot and I'm extremely grateful to Jeff and to Doug for all their help with this. I could not have done it without them so thank you very much and also thank you as well guys for all your support and your messages as well. I've been offline for a little bit not wasn't feeling very well but feeling a lot better now as you can hopefully tell now that we're making progress on the bike as well and so I'll see you again next week. Next week.